this International Women's Day, let's all help pass the ERA, an amendment that will ban sex-based discrimination so that my rights and your rights are not up for interpretation. Written by Alice Paul in 1923. 1923. It envisions an America that we ought to be. It was passed in the House and in the Senate too, and in 35 states by 1982. In the last four years, three more states have passed it. Now all that's left is to remove the time limit. The text for which so many have fought and died is now so close to being ratified. But why, you may ask, do we need it at all when the 14th Amendment gives rights to us all? Well, 14's been used, abused, and disputed, and we need a text that cannot be refuted. For your mother, your sister, your partner, your daughter, for the rights so many before you have fought for. We have been fighting for years. How long will it take? How many more glass ceilings must we break? To ensure that the word women is actually in the Constitution, both House and Senate have introduced joint resolutions, a bill to remove the deadline with bipartisan support, to enshrine equality from the home to the court. Now this is an issue you can support regardless of your gender, a promise for equality that your voice can render. I urge you to please call and email so that SJR1 and HJR17 do not fail. And I'll help you out. There's a link in my bio that with a template for an email that you can borrow. And what better day to pass the ERA? And if you've made it this far, happy International Women's Day.